from Ontario's far, far north to as south as Peterborough. By the time this trip is through for these 22 dogs, they will have traveled well over 2,000 kilometers. Saturday morning stop could be seen as a midway pit stop. This process started a, a few days ago up in a remote northern community that needed some resources and we partnered with them to help these guys find their homes. Now this dog could be the poster child for this project. Tell me about this little guy, where he came from and where you hope to find him a home. He's come from the furthest northern part of Ontario um, and the snow falling today is very indicative of where he's come from, the true north. And so he's on his journey way back home, uh, down south. And that way we have more homes and families down there that can, can support this little guy with a home that he needs. Now for the general story of these dogs, were they strays? Were they abandoned and, and stray or did, were they surrendered? Tell us the story behind most of them. Every single animal is very unique and they each have their own uh, stories to tell. Uh, this little guy needed a home and so uh, the owner decided uh, within the community to um, have him surrendered so he could find a home. This most recent initiative, one of many more to come this year. 2018 is the year of the Northern Dog and it's a campaign to bring awareness um, to, oh, to this little guy, right? He's giving your sound bite right there. Um, but it's to bring awareness to the program um, and it's to bring awareness to the lack of animal welfare services in the North and the challenges that these communities face with regards to um, overpopulation of, of pets.